All right, I thought I'd make this really impromptu video for all of you awesome ballroom masters out there in the world. This is Vaughn. Thank you for joining me today. And I'm going to talk to you about how to create way better feelings and emotions and more importantly, express them when you're dancing at any level. In fact, if you are an avid social dancer or a hobbyist, an amateur or professional dancer, this message is definitely for you because becoming a better dancer is always the pursuit for us, right? Like one thing I found uh, when we're teaching here in our studio and talking to dancers all across the world is there is a subscribed notion that the more lessons and technique that you do, eventually the promised land, you'll be able to express yourself as an artist. And I was inspired by teaching a, a student today who's from uh, Belarus, who comes in and we're having this discussion. I was like, look, at what point do you need to get the feelings that you're feeling in your dancing to come out and be evident for everyone to enjoy your dancing with? And he went, mm, that's a good question, I'm not sure. And I said, well, now is the time. There's no illustrious moment where you'll just start feeling it. And so what we need to think about is moving out of our head and into our heart when we dance. What does this mean? Look, all of your technique is geared around training your body to be able to perform and produce movement to music. Now, the trick is, how do we create better feelings and better emotions when we're dancing? Well, we have to move from our head into our heart. Now, when do we do this? Well, we do it at the moment we make a decision. And then the question is, how do we do it? And that's an important question. Well, let's talk about what the head means. First of all, we have logic in there. We reason, we think, our intellect is all in our head. So when you turn up to a lesson or a group class or even watch a video on our channel, it's all about head. How do we take a piece of knowledge to integrate our technique into our body? Because technique ultimately is to free your dancing so you can express yourself better. So what I've written here is it's an integration of your technique into your body. That is what a lesson is for. You learn how to turn your foot out. You learn how to move your leg. You learn how to use your arms. But that does not make your feelings come out and express themselves through the music better. That's what getting into your heart's about. It's what your feelings are, your emotions, your soul, baby. The, the dancers you admire, the great performers, they're unconsciously competent. They're mastered their dancing and their body in such a way that they can almost go out there and look like they're not even trying, right? And that's what everybody wants to be able to do. There's a trick to doing that. What I've written here is the expression of the music through the body. So our technique is the integration of technique into the body. And then moving into our heart is the expression of music through your body. And the two are worlds apart. You can see lots of dancers out there and all they're doing is focusing on making sure they're on time. What's my choreography? What's my routine? Making sure they don't make mistakes. And the reason for that is fear. They're so fearful of doing it wrong that they never move into the world of expressing their feelings through their dancing and through their body because it's better to be judged on something that can be corrected like a footwork error or a timing error than to be judged on you as an artist producing your movement and showing your feelings and exposing yourself to the world. There's an element of vulnerability and there's a lot of courage required to do that. But I always think it's better to be judged on the higher side of you really going for it than to be judged on the lowest, safer concern in your dancing. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be judged either way. So which one should you be judged for? Well, it's always better to be judged at the highest level that you can perform at and operate at. Now, let's go back to the main thing. The main thing of today is how to express your emotions and feelings better. The way you do that is by when the music comes on, you make a decision to move out of your head and into your heart. So in a lesson, for example, the best thing I can get a couple to do or a solo dancer to do is to get in their head when they're learning to integrate technique. So they, they've learned a specific skill I've taught them. That to, now they're thinking about how to put that in their body. Where does it go? Does it go into my hip, my rib cage, my arm? Where should I create that movement from? Think, think, think all you want. When the music comes on, you gotta snap out of that and go into your heart. And now let the rhythm of the music and the feelings that come through your body from the music take over. Your nervous system's phenomenal. What will happen is your nervous system has a feedback mechanism that if you do something wrong, you'll know. 
You don't have to always be thinking about that. You'll know it's wrong. And then you can correct it by going back into your head after you've let your heart take over the movement. Now, this might sound a bit esoteric, but it's exactly how you can start to create better feelings in your dancing. Your feelings are lying to you, right? Like this is one of the things I'll often tell students because they'll come to me and say, and you've probably felt this, I don't like my arms. And then when they make the correction to what the arms should look like and they look normal and they look natural and really nice, the comment I always get back is it doesn't feel good. And I'm like, your feelings are lying to you. Nobody said it needs to feel good. It looks to look good in this instance. Uh, they often laugh and I say, I explain it a bit further, I say, your body is wired so when you do an arm movement, it's like this. You look like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. So that's normal and natural and feels right to you. I come along, straighten your arm out and move it differently. It feels wrong because your nervous system is feeding back to you that it is wrong because it's not normal and natural at the moment. You do it enough times though and you repeat that information enough times, do you know what happens? That becomes normal, this becomes unnatural because you've rewired the circuitry in your body to change it. So what's natural and normal to you is actually wrong to me because you've just wired it, whereas this is normal and natural. And so it's through training technique in our head and through getting into more lessons and the more deeper knowledge and learning and understanding that we start to rewire our body. But that does not create a better expression for you as an artist. It allows a better form of technique which looks more pleasing to the eye, but still, what about the expression? That's where you gotta get into your head, uh, sorry, into your heart, and allow the feelings of the music to come through you and let the body then express that through better technique. I hope this starts to make sense to you. Here's what you can do as a result of this message today. When you're in the studio and there's no music on, Think all you want about what you need to change in your waltz, your ballroom, your Latin dancing, any style. When the music comes on, snap into the feeling. Let the feeling come through you and then let it come out of you. And the feedback from your coach, the feedback from your own nervous system will tell you when things are working, when they're not. Use a mirror and more importantly, love your dancing. The people that have the greatest joy in dancing doesn't matter if they've never had a lesson or they're top dancers, they always dance with joy. Lots of it. So the more you do that, the faster you'll excel to your goals and the quicker you'll become a better dancer. This is Vaughn from Ballroom Mastery. Hope you've loved it. Subscribe to the channel and we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.